The north part of Amsterdam is one of the most interesting and fastest growing parts of the city. Up until 15 years ago, this used to be an industrial area with some working class neighborhoods. These days, it's buzzing with activity. And probably one of the best examples of that transition is this tall building right next to me. Uh, it's simply called the Amsterdam Tower. It used to be Shell's head office. And after they vacated the building, some smart entrepreneurs bought it. Uh, these days, it houses some uh, restaurants, uh, a club, and there's even a swing on top of that uh, rotating rooftop. Another really cool uh, building is the white one behind me, which is called The Eye. The Eye is a film archive and museum that preserves and presents both Dutch and foreign films screened in the Netherlands. The museum's goal is the safeguarding of film heritage for future generations. The collection includes 37,000 film titles, 60,000 posters, 700,000 photographs and 20,000 books from all over the world. Amsterdam North is home to a couple of great hotspots and innovative areas, like NDSM Wharf, which we have discovered in part one of this episode, the Tolhuistuin and the Keuvel, which you can see across the water here. It's an association of creative entrepreneurs who've settled down on an old ship wharf. They run their startup business from old houseboats they've lifted out of the water, and they run the Keuvel Cafe, which is a great place to hang out, especially during the spring and summer months. Of course, one of the best ways to discover Amsterdam is by boat. At Via Gorilla, we are lucky enough to own this old rust bucket, which has provided us countless hours of joy. To me, it's one of my favorite ways to spend a summer's day. A bunch of friends, a couple of cold beers and a boat ride on the canals of Amsterdam. Alright, time to head over to another area in Amsterdam, where we spend a lot of our time. Right now we are in the east side of Amsterdam, in the lovely Oosterpark, a park that's favored with locals. Uh, it's the oldest large park in Amsterdam at roughly 30 acres and uh, every summer there are a couple of great festivals held here like Katie Koti and uh, Roots Open Air Festival where we've experienced some great music and ate some great food from all over the world. Other than that the park is home to the Royal Institute of the Tropics and there are a couple of monuments here of which I would like to show you one in particular. 